After many years of the British government promising a referendum uh, to the um, voting public of Britain, um, it's finally going to happen this year. And so the government propaganda starts. And we have today, or well, yesterday, we received um, uh, this newspaper uh, through the uh, post. Um, newspaper it was a sort of a um, one page newspaper and it is absolutely full of propaganda um, first off they start um, uh, making all sorts of uh, um, telling all sorts of lies um, obviously this is going to be a new thing they're like a January, February, um, for the southwest of England. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, <clears throat> what's in also interesting is that uh, that my grandson, who's uh, who's eight, um, he he came home from school yesterday, from primary school, and he also had um, a load of this government propaganda. Um, all of it saying how we've got to stay in the, the um, uh, as part of Europe and uh, um, all this garbage because it's absolutely uh, government propaganda. No, it's, it's being um, <coughs> um, the government's not owning to it, um, it's under some charity somewhere or other. Um, here we go. Um, sign up but obviously the government or is behind it or someone I mean why would someone be feel so strongly oh, well of course it it is the government or you know the one world government um, uh, supporting the, the concept and uh, of course they attack UKIP because uh, UKIP is the main um, um, party who uh, is suggesting coming out of Europe and uh, they um, uh, tell all these lies. So they, they, they first of all they um, they claim what UKIP is saying, and they say it's not true, and they and they uh, write all their their answers there, which I do. I'll do it slowly. It's going it slowly over if you want to read it. <clears throat> but the point is, um, whether the UKIP statements are correct, um, or whether this paper's um, statements are correct. Um, the point is, um, none of it. It's 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 all it's all um, it's all a lie. Um, the government's uh, lying left, right, and centre, um, and deceiving the the people. I mean, the government isn't even um, doesn't even represent the uh, main main part of the population. Well, it represents the main part in so far as it maybe it's got. Uh, 50 60 percent of the, uh, the the population uh, but of course when if you include the uh, people who didn't vote and you include the people who who voted because there was no um, um, alternative um, then in actual fact you'll find that uh, uh, the British um, government the Conservative Party uh, uh, doesn't represent the people but now they have the audacity to start the propaganda um, telling us that uh, uh, we've got to stay in Europe um, when um, this may well not be uh, the best thing for the country because <clears throat> the one thing that um, the European Union, Union is doing and um, um, and America uh, is also being um, um, drawn into it in, 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 in one form or another. Uh, <clears throat> it's all a march towards one world government. And uh, what we're having to do is to lay down our, our um, sovereignty um, and lay down our rights to uh, become part of the European Union part of the one world government uh, 
and all it means of course is that the very few people at the top of the food chain the very wealthy um, they will end up controlling everybody uh, soon we will all be like that in bondage um, <clears throat> the vote um, what does it mean um, and because it means so little um, I strongly recommend that everyone in the uh, referendum votes to come out of Europe because it'd be interesting actually because if the whole population um, if enough people um, voted to come out of the um, uh, European Union um, then I expect we would still stay in it <clears throat> I mean you don't, I don't. I don't want to to uh, to go through all this at the moment uh, because I, I can make another video on it, um, disputing these lies. Uh, uh, but we're we're told all sorts of things, right? The benefits of staying in the European Union, and even now, uh, uh, Lyra Cameron, uh, the Prime Minister, is um, trying to encourage the um, the people to stay uh, to vote for the European Union um, to stay in it uh, on the basis that he's trying to encourage uh, more um, um, what's that word now come on come to me um, uh, free trade more free trade well free trade is fine in principle <clears throat> and it is the um, perhaps the uh, people would say the essence of um, um, capitalism but when you actually look at what free trade does it destroys uh, a country uh, and it free trade makes it impossible uh, eventually for there not to be a one world government because what free trade does, it means that uh, um, supposing you are a shoemaker and you have a factory uh, making and selling shoes, uh, free trade means that uh, uh, the government doesn't do anything to protect your business or, the, or the, uh, similar businesses employing uh, British people. Uh, what it does is uh, it opens the... Um, uh, the floodgates of uh, competition from ab abroad um, uh, which means that uh, imported shoes are much cheaper and therefore uh, British made shoes uh, can no longer be made competitively and therefore the factories close and the um, population are made um, you know, the people who populate the uh, work at the companies are made unemployed. And what good is that? Because um, if enough uh, companies close, uh, then um, there's no work. And uh, if there's no work, how is the average working man going to compete? Um, and you only have to look at Britain and America. We used to be the um, uh, the manufacturing companies, uh, country, you know, manufacturing um, countries of the world. We we we, any, if anything needed to be made, it was, it was made in Britain or made in America. Um, and now uh, Britain doesn't manufacture anything. All the manufacturing companies have been closed down, and uh, the same in America, they're clo closing down at a phenomenal rate. Um, and and. Um, at the same time, we have um, increase of uh, use of drugs and uh, um, and crime, and uh, it's hardly surprising when you consider that uh, um, there's no work, and uh, having a job is is what a man needs. Having a a, a, um, a reason to uh, to get up in the morning is what a man needs. But if there's, if there's no um, satisfactory work, real work, man's work, 
um, the country collapses and of course when all the businesses close and there's no, there's no manufacturing um, for any uh, say a particular product then we are dependent upon another country for that for the supply of that uh, um, Britain for instance could easily um, provide all the food that the population needs um, but instead the farmers are subsidized not to farm and as a result we have to uh, import at least half of our food maybe more <coughs> so we're dependent on other countries for our food but not we can't be self-sufficient that way uh, and um, well, so it goes on. There's, uh, there's so much to this, and uh, I'm th if you got this far in this video, this is amazing, and I thank you, um, <coughs> because the <coughs> the point is, all this information is 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 available. To, um, and I'm, I'm just scanning through, right? And uh, what I'm showing you on this video, by going over this this page, is all the propaganda, but it's all lies. It's all lies. All lies. All lies. Lies and half truths, and um, so have your eyes open. Um, know that this rubbish is going to be um, coming through your letterbox, and vote to come out of Europe. There's absolutely no way we will come out of Europe. But your vote to come out of Europe is essential, because at least you're you're voting, and you, and you'll see the very fact that we won't be coming out of Europe will be a confirmation of what I'm saying today. Thank you.